Hello everyone, I'm Pacific, and welcome back to a vlog. I don't usually do these, but this is probably one of the most important vlogs I have ever made on this channel. Now I know I go through channel phases a lot, I kind of change myself literally all the time. I personally think that's a good thing, but you know, some people don't think that's a good thing. But now, specifically right now, I'm changing myself completely. Now this isn't gonna be instantly overnight, I'm gonna have completely different things, right? It's more of like a slow pivot. Instead of going like this, I go kind of all the way around, right? And what this is, is as you guys know, I've been doing Let's Plays, I've been doing commentaries, I've been doing um, talkovers, which is where I put the gameplay in the background, I do talkovers, and you know, I've done my vlogs, and really, kind of not much else. I also got the live streams. But those are part of a bigger picture that I have been building. One of the things I value a lot is creativity. I value it so much. That's why I try to kind of use it a lot. And now that I have these foundations, right, I can sit here and I can talk and do a, a, a literally a four or five hour live stream easily, right? I can do the talkovers. I can come up with ideas. I can double daily post, right? I can do all of these things. Now I've built up my skills and I feel like I want to branch out and evolve the channel, not change, oh, I have my gaming skills, I can go now to vlogging or automotive or tech or whatever, but take my gaming channel to the next level. So if you're seeing, you know, the live streams, the Let's Plays, it, specifically the Let's Plays and the commentaries, if those are going, if those go away or are very infrequent, you know, they kind of just like trickle off, in place of other stuff, probably shows or different types of little higher quality videos. Not necessarily higher quality, more of like more edited videos and less on the Let's Plays and stuff. And if you also see me doing more live streaming, that's because I'm evolving the channel. I'm changing it into something that I think I can do. Let's Plays and commentaries is easy mode for me now, and I want to keep things interesting. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to develop some types of videos that kind of build off the skills that I have built for myself over the past two years doing my gaming stuff on my channel. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I feel like now I have finally built myself up to give myself the potential. I've unlocked the potential to try and build something better. And I love the Let's Plays, and I love the commentaries, and I will probably still do those things because, I mean, they're fun. Why would I not do these things that are fun on my YouTube channel, right? But I'm gonna try to do better things, things that really challenge me and make me invest into even more skill building and even more time into the channel. Now, I don't know what that stuff's gonna be. Probably things that involve me using more than just improv skills, using more than just basic editing skills. Probably projects that maybe I work on two videos one day and I focus on the first half of a video the next day. I don't know what's gonna come up, but that's what's gonna happen. Because I do want YouTube to be a source of financial freedom, really. You know, maybe I get it off AdSense, maybe I get it off sponsorships. I don't know what it's gonna actually be. Probably, I don't know, sponsorships at this point. But I don't know what it's gonna be, but I want to start to build a personal brand. I've already been doing things behind the scenes. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I've been really active on my Minds blog. I almost have 50 followers on Minds, actually. I don't know if you guys have been doing that. So I have well over an audience of 600. I have a medium.com profile that I just started that I'm working on where I'm learning how to basically write articles like you would on a website, which I will then translate over to a website, which my website I've been trying to work on. Um, it's hard, I'm still in the learning phase before I do anything, you know, I've been trying ex these experiments here and there. I've been doing all this stuff off of YouTube, and now I think it's time to bring the love back to YouTube, and then, you know, after YouTube, I've been giving it, you know, some stuff, and I'm in the phase where I've, develop some shows and I have to do them and, you know, practice at them, I can work on my other stuff again. But I think I have finally developed myself to go beyond simply just a YouTube channel 
I have a YouTube channel. I have a website. I have a social media following. Well, a slight social media following. But I think I'm just getting to the point where it's kind of like going from elementary school to middle school in terms of uh, internet. Not just YouTube, but internet. YouTube, probably at the high school level now, but the internet, I'm in the middle school level. And I'm really just excited to see what the future holds. I can guarantee a couple things though. One is daily live streaming. That is something that I can guarantee is gonna happen. If I miss a couple days, I miss a couple days, but I'm gonna try to do daily live streaming. I've been having a blast with it. It's been awesome. Less Let's Plays are another thing. I'm gonna translate the Let's Plays into the live streams because I do like gameplay, but I've seen it happen where um, Let's Plays do better on live streams. And I feel like when I live stream stuff, it is a lot better than just simply making a video, right? I don't know why, but it seems better in my opinion. My YouTube tips are going away. And this is a decision that I have to make on my own. I have, I am at the point now where I think I've, I've said all that I know at this point and it kind of doesn't fit into what I want the channel to be. It's been very good at helping me memorize YouTube information because if you guys don't know, teaching is literally the best way to memorize something is teaching. And I, ha I just don't, think I want YouTube tips on the channel anymore. That's what I want. I'll probably still kind of share bits of information every once in a while. If I get asked it in the comments or something, you know, of course I'll share it. You know, there's stuff like that, but I think YouTube tips are definitely going away. I'm probably going to start um, at least a couple shows, if not one. I do want to start some kind of show where um, it's not just, you know, the Friday show, which I'll get to that in a second. Not the Friday show where it's the name. I mean, a legit thing. Like, um, there was the Minecraft Noob Adventures, had its own intro, own logo, all of that. The Rooster Teeth, Red vs. Blue, which I love that. Um, then there was uh, Halo Horse on Rooster Teeth again. Then there was Matt Pat's Game Theory. You know, those are shows, highly produced shows that I think, I think I'd be down to try to make a couple of those. Probably stuff related to gaming in the 2000s, not gonna lie, that's probably what it's gonna end up being because I, I mean, that is the first era that I remember of gaming. I mean, I, there was the 90s, the late, late 90s, but, you know, 2000s, I could talk all day about what I did in the 2000s, and I feel like, you know, bring in that extra little flair to it. Now, the Friday show is me talking about gaming, just kind of gaming, and I, f I feel like that is going to turn into the show. The Friday show, when I make my show thing that I'm going to do, whether it's a throwback Thursday type thing or whatever, I still have to do my research. The Friday show is going to go away and be replaced by my other thing that I'm doing. The Friday show is a great exercise in show commentary, right? which I think evolving it into something else is good. And I like gaming commentary videos where you post commentary over gameplay. Like, I like those. I really do. I mean, when I first got my Xbox capture card, that's what I did. That, legit, that's what I did two years ago. And that's what I did when I could make custom thumbnails was that. And I feel like now I really have built the skills to replace the Friday show, make it move on. This is just like Uncut. Uncut was, you know, a skill building series and it evolved into battlefield commentaries and live streaming. Live streaming is a direct result of me uploading videos of me just playing the game Uncut. And live streaming is basically the same thing except longer and better quality. I think if I was an audience member watching my channel, the Friday show evolving into something else, I don't think I'm losing out. I think, if anything, I'm gaining. You know, I might lose out because Pacific doesn't know what he's doing, but you know what? The worst thing I can do is fail and then I can just go back to the old way and try something else, right? YouTube is pretty easy, at least the way that I have it set up, 
to go back. Just like a video game, I can save, try something, and go back. And then try something else and go back, right? I've built it that way. But I'm really excited to see what the future holds. I feel like my first two years was spent very well developing skills that I've actually been applying to outside as well. You guys obviously don't see that, but I've been applying them to outside as well. And now I have created opportunities for me to do much better things, to be successful on the platform. And then when I'm successful on the platform, I can get rid of all the time that I waste at a job and all the time that I waste worrying about you know, I can't buy this thing to make this YouTube video, right? After I've done all of that, it's just gonna get better from there. But really, I'm excited to see what the future holds. I don't know what it holds. I am not even scared to see if I fail because I've been in situations where I failed multiple years in a row, what you would consider failure. And then what came out of that? was a clean slate win that set me on top of everyone else out of years of failing. I might share this later on. I have to talk to some people to see if I can share this. But um, my before YouTube and during YouTube personal life has seen, let's just say it's seen some shit. Not anything bad or life-threatening, but I've learned a lot from... I would say the past nine years of my life. And YouTube is just another part of that. YouTube's the next big thing, but there's some things that I want to share that I feel like be very motivational, much needed for the people watching me. YouTube tips is a result of seeing that people watching me maybe have 10, 20, 30 subscribers and you guys needed advice, right? Now I think I can evolve that into something as well. So this does come down to channel evolution, right? It's going to be a slow turn probably over the next few months. I am definitely going to try to keep this on track. I know I'm like little promises. I've not been the best at keeping them. I've kept most of them, but not all of them. Big promises I have kept. And I'm going to intend to keep this one as well. So this is it, guys. This is another change to the channel. You know, how much success it brings is beyond me. I mean, what I've been doing right now, I am close to 600 subscribers. All right? I think if I applied the logic here to an even better way of doing things, just in subscriber count alone, I think I can do better. I think in skill building, I will succeed way more than subscriber count. And I'm happy. I am, if I today had a million subscribers for the kind of content I make now, I would be so sad because I don't think my stuff deserves a million subscribers. I don't think it even deserves a hundred thousand, but I want to bring it up to a level where I think it does. And I think that's very important. I think that's what keeps my channel going as opposed to other channels. I think that's what keeps my channel when it gets into those stagnant ruts where it's the same thing all the time and it gets out. That's what keeps my channel getting out of that, is that I know that I know the value of my channel. I don't try to exaggerate it. In fact, I under-exaggerate it by a lot sometimes. So I think that's going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for if you watch to the end. You know, I don't usually expect anyone to watch to the end, and you guys always do. Some of you do. Some of you just click it and click off. But you know what? I'm excited to see what the future holds. Guys, I'm I Pacific. I will see you in the next year or however long I keep going. Probably forever, hopefully. But I will see you guys on the next adventure of whatever I decide to make.